Hey everybody, it's Zetalonix, and I got a request from Endless Goblin via AIM asking how to make an intro in Sony Vegas. So here's how to do that. Now, I just recorded this tutorial, yet my um, microphone was disconnected, so it had no audio. So I'm re recording it now. And well, here's I'm just going to show you guys the final product. This is an intro. It's okay. I'm doing my best for the fact that it's Sony Vegas and it's somewhat hard to edit in. So this this is um 3D keyframes editing in 3D space. This comes in. And then it goes out. Which you could also have it exit the exact way it came in, but I was showing you guys other ways to do stuff. This text comes in, it lets you read it, then it begins to spin as then it begins to fade out. And that's basically all there was to it. So. Alright, so, delete everything here now. Alright, so I'm going to insert a video track and go into my generated media. Um, noise texture. I did standard noise, but you can do any of these. You can do blood cells, microscopic threads, lightning, wood. Actually, I wouldn't do wood. I would just do stuff that seems very kind of abstract or grungy standard noise seems very grungy so we're gonna make this actually let's just leave it at 10 seconds for now so let's go to the let's drag our bar to the very end of the timeline and progress want it to be completed offset the Y and offset the Y frequency and then the X frequency back that just gives it some movement so we don't we aren't working with like a still frame here and then we want the end color to kind of change now this is uh, this is something I didn't do first but I think it might look good now I'm gonna lower down the opacity towards the end and here's what happens now I think that actually has to get darker huh find a uh, dark dark blue I actually did look fine didn't it alright there so oh whoops sorry well here's what happens this has movement like it's alive actually what I can do to show you guys is I can just make this play in fast motion watch that's basically what happens but that's in fast motion so now that we have the background established, let's add a few video effects to it. Um, um I actually let's go back into here and about halfway through, let's have the amplitude be adjusted just a little bit so and then at the very end let's have like right here let's have the amplitude go back down just like that that adds a little bit more randomness to it um, you can't really do any expressions since it's no, since it's Vegas not After Effects but that doesn't look too bad. So I'm gonna insert another video track, and this is where my text will be created. I'm doing um, legacy plugin video factory text or something like that. I have mine set as a preset, but I'll explain it to you as I go along. Background colors transparent. All right, so you type in your text, and then you set the font and everything to how you want. Um, my text just stayed default black. Everything same. Background now. 
background is just completely transparent, which is how you adjust it right here. Shadow now, you want to check draw shadow, feather at zero, offset 0 0.03 as for x and y, and then adjust the um, the everything else stay the same. It's white for the color. Now the outline, draw shadow with and fe with and feather are both at 0 0.3, and then I kind of have a blue. Now I'm gonna drag down the transparency for this one as well as this one. That way it kind of hopefully blends in with the background. And bump up the feather to about 0.38. Don't copy mine exactly. If I were you, I would experiment. Uh. Or you could actually take the shadow the outline and make the width really huge and the feather down low but transparency barely visible and it has this nice little back to it maybe I actually have a little bit of feather though doesn't seem so choppy but that's the basics to that and then you're going to want to click compositing mode 3d source alpha oh and what I almost forgot was to mute that insert video track move it below uh... you want to go to color gradient i used to do soft red backdrop because i don't know i like that for some reason and this color i want it to be like a red and the second and then number one kind of a greenish blue um, and you could what you could do is you could change this to like screen or to overlay but I honestly thinks think not thinks it looks better if you just drop down the opacity right now I have mine at about 32 which I think looks really really solid up there maybe a little bit higher so now it's at 41 that looks really good I think um, unmute the text and we're gonna go in to event pan slash crop so we're just gonna have the width or no yeah just set this to zero and it'll automatically put the height and the width back at zero and it's completely gone out of the screen which is how we had that kind of impact effect where it just dropped on the screen so now it's time for the clip you just do file import media mine's imported already uh... i'm just going to delete the audio because we don't really need it for this Now this tutorial is probably starting to get a little boring, so let's just show you the clip. Now, uh, I have enough clips on my computer here to make a fontage, and I was planning on making a fontage, but I don't know if I want to. Here's the clip, though. Maybe you guys could tell me if you guys think I should make one or not. Maybe that would change my mind. So, this is um, one of my friends playing. That's why it's on his third person. And then he runs over here to Rockets on Foundry throws a sticky the sticky sticks the guy but then I can that I'm right here and I quick scope the guy right in the face and jack the kill which I thought was hilarious and he kinda started freaking out what happened I stuck that guy <gasps> what do I do but now let's go back so back to the tutorial the compositing mode 3d source alpha and now we're going to go into track motion now if you look at this you'll notice it's a sphere and it will let me edit this in the 3d space restore box we'll set it back to normal what we're first going to want to do is actually go into event pan slash crop and just make this a bit box bigger so we can see our background a little bit Um, go back over to track motion zoom in some and um, I set this right here to negative 90 degrees so it's completely flat when it starts and then if we go in about that's about two minutes right there or two seconds sorry 